Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of GeoGuessr. Yes, we're back in GeoGuessr. So today what we're going to do is we are going to be uh, doing another one of the world map. So I thought every like two weeks we'll do a world map, and then next week we'll do like a UK. We'll jump between UK and world every single week. So what we're going to do is we're going to just click on single player. Uh, so, hmm, this doesn't look very familiar. Not a clue. So they drive on the right, so yeah, it'd be good better if they drove on the left. Because I actually have an understanding of maybe where we are. So, we have a sign. Great. Doesn't tell me much. I'm kind of, my first vibes are North America. Maybe South, I don't know. My first vibes are definitely North America though. Like that's what I'm feeling so far. Preson Presocion Desneval en Calzada. 40 mile per hour, I think that is. Hmm. I would say we're on the Canada and American border. I, I personally would think that. If I'm right, I'm going to be like so happy. A car going up a hill that's going to fall down. Good. Sounds great. Oh, I hate when you get these challenges where it's just like endless roads. What is this? Oh my god. Nope, it's kilometres. Jeez. I thought the 40 without the kilometre down the bottom, like the 40 sign actually meant mi mile per hour. Like if it doesn't show kilometres underneath or kilometres per hour underneath, I thought it meant that as miles, not, not kilometres. It's a bit odd. So we'll just come down here. I have no clue where we are. I hope you guys don't know either, because I don't know. A little complete not ready. It's it, I'm probably like miles away. It's probably like Russia or something. I don't think it's Russia. It doesn't look very Russian. I could be wrong, but okay. Uh, can we get any sort of clue out of this? Respeta la doble line de tu vida. Is that? I've got a vibe, I don't know, is it just me or have I got a vibe of Italy? I don't know why. I've sort of got this vibe in my head that's Italy, but I've sort of got this other thing in my head that's saying that it's, it's not Italy and it's got to be, it can be Italy though, because how can it be Italy when it's, when it's like desert-like kind of thing? What is this? Angus Pizzerio, Pazzalaro, it's either Spanish or Italian. So if it's Spanish, it's going to be either Mexico, probably, maybe Brazil, because Brazil uses Portuguese as its official language. I know that, don't worry about it. Uh, oh my god, it's that thing again. I've decided to spend long longer on the rounds as well, take more time to it, so that it, hopefully it'll be a longer episode. Veras de Balbo. What does that say underneath it? Stop blurring things out, game! If it is the USA, what state could it be? If I was to guess a US state from this vibe, I would probably say something like Nevada or New Mexico or something. But I'm not 100% sure. I honestly do not know where the hell anything is in this map. Just saying I'm absolutely horrendous at, like... US geography. Like, US geography is alright if you're playing, like, quiz shows and stuff, like... Where is Albuquerque? I would say New Mexico straight away, but I don't have a clue, so it's not great. It's not a great start. This round, just like this road is just going to feel like it goes on forever. Like if it just turned out at like Mexico City or something, that would be perfect. Can we get another sign? Oh, what was that? What was that? See, guys, I have not got, like, a country yet. I don't know about you guys, but most people in this game start to think about if it's north and south and east in a country. But I have not even got the country yet. 40? Is that mile per hour or kilometers per hour? It kind of feels like it's miles per hour. What is that? Las Avispas. So that's a river. That kind of feels like it's not a river. But I think it is a river. Is that a river? It, it kind of feels like it's flooded. It is flooded. Okay, we've got a junction kind of thing coming up here. 
It's good. Okay, we've got Lujan, Mendoza, and Penitenkaria. Mendoza. They look very, um, like, North American signs. Like, the signs kind of look North American. I've got a vibe of Mexico going in my head. Does Mexico still use miles per hour? What the hell is going on here? Okay, so we've got, like, mass kind of things. What are they? They're, like, power lines? 20. Jeez, what's down there? Can I go down there? Okay, let's get off here. Let's see what's down here. Okay, we've got a tunnel, so it is but rich enough to build a tunnel. I think the best thing to do is stay on the highway. Because we're never going to find anything down there. Like, just a tiny little road. Like, you've got more chance of finding signs. Aque Tambien La Nacion Cres. It doesn't help. I'm still thinking Mexico. But does that sound Spanish? To me, that does not sound like Spanish. Portra Relos. Aspalata. Pen... I'm th this sounds more Italian than anything else. It might be Portuguese. I don't know. It sounds more Italian than Spanish to me. But I think Portuguese is more close to Italian than it is Spanish, I think. So it could possibly be Portuguese. It doesn't sound 100% Spanish or 100% Italian. So it's like a mixture of both. So I'm kind of thinking Portuguese. So I'm thinking Brazil kind of area, if you, if you get what I mean. If you know that Brazil is uh, Portuguese is the official language, then yeah. If you, the only reason I know that Portuguese is the official language of uh, Brazil is because the Rio Olympics. Censo de Transito, I don't know what DMV means, probably like Denver or something. Okay, so they all drive on the right. So, it's not somewhere like, I don't know, Japan or something. Obviously, it's not Japan. It's not going to be India. Where else? The UK. It can't be the UK. Where else drives on the left? I think South Africa drives on the left. It's not really ruling really much out, though, is it? Oh, we've got billboards. This could help. But it speaks English at all. That'll be brilliant. iPhone 8. iPhone 6, sorry. I guess that, is that the iPhone 6? That may be the iPhone 5S. So, Disponible Para. Descarga. Download. Rustas. Honestly, I don't know. Don de Comar. Who used an upside down question mark? Nine Is that 952? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Pasala Hache. Oh my god. Volvo. We know that's Volvo. Volvo Trucks and Buses. That's in English. And then it just goes to like 440p. Uno. Do you remember that game, Uno? I never actually understood how to play it. Construction Weber. Honestly, I don't. I honestly do not know where this is. If I had to guess, I'd say Brazil, but honestly, I don't know. I'm going to go for about another minute. Until that clock down the bottom right hits 1347, and we're just going to keep going. Because honestly, this, this area does not look familiar at all. Oh, hello! Do you mind telling me where you're going, pal? Because I don't know where I'm going. Dude, stop covering up the thing. Santiago. It's chilly. It's chilly. It's definitely chilly. Santiago. <claps> Boom. Got it. Yay, we've actually found the country. Thank God for that. Does any... Wh wh what was the name of... Los Angeles, what the hell? What was the name of the places, by the way? It was like... Oh, I can't remember. One of them was... Ugh, I forgot. Is there a sign somewhere? I'd like to see a sign. At least we got the country. That's a good start. The problem is, Chile is like the thinnest, like in, like length or width, but in height it's just completely, like long. It's like the longest country, or something. Mendoza, thirty-four miles. Okay, can we find Mendoza? It seems to me Mendoza is quite a big country, a big place. Sorry, but you th but saying that again, we. But saying that again, that boss might have been going like a long way. Like it might be going from country to country. It might be like a like a, a, a express bus kind of thing. So it might not be Chile. Hmm. 
Honestly, this does not look familiar at all. Can we maybe zoom out and zoom in a little bit and see if we can find... Mendoza! Mendoza! So we're 34 miles from Mendoza, ain't we? So, Cap Capilote, or whatever it's called, is, is to the left. I reckon we're in here somewhere. I reckon we're right, San, this area. So we'll go for about another minute. Perfect, another sign. Okay, so we're 199 miles from San Juan. It doesn't really help. There's San Luis. There's San Luis, 120, 100, 294. Sorry, 296. We're on the Route 7, apparently. So the Route 7 is here. So I reckon, if we just guess, we are going to get a good score. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I got this. So the 23rd World Map Geo Guesser, we're going to be doing points this time, just to keep track how do good we're doing. I'm going to say about here. Because we're on the Route 7, ain't we? To Mendoza, which is about 34. Mm, I might put it about there, because I kind of feel like we're closer to Mendoza than I think. But, because we're heading towards this way, you know we're heading towards this way, because San Luis is towards that way. And San Juan is somewhere. Somewhere down here. Probably on a different road or something, maybe up here. Yeah, San Juan's there. So if you think about it, we have to take a junction. You can't go going down this road to San Juan, so you have to take a, a, a turn. So I reckon we're about here somewhere. So we're just going to guess about there, maybe. Because we kind of turn bends a lot, so let's make guess. 4,800! We were 42 kilometres away. Guys, bearing in mind, 10 minutes ago, we had no clue where about in the world we were. We could have been in Spain or Portugal or even Italy for that matter. We guessed 42 kilometres away. That is like from from Edinburgh to Glasgow. That's like nothing. It's, it's nothing. Okay, let's play the next round. Oh, great. Here we go. Hello, can you mind telling me where we are? Are we in Paraguay? Good, good. We're in Paraguay. Thanks for telling me, pal. I don't think we're in Paraguay, by the way. Can you give me the UK or something? Can you give me, like, a McDonald's or something? Just to, to know where I am. Rustic car. That was very... It looks very old. I would say... Maybe Eastern Europe, I would say. Or even... I mean, even, like, at Mexico or something. I don't know. Oh, don't tell me this road goes on forever. They get their own little road. Good for them. Uh, what's the way out? Is it this way or is it the other way? Don't tell me we're in the middle of nowhere. Please don't tell me we're in the middle of nowhere. I'd like to actually be somewhere. That's the thing. Uh, okay, we went on dirt road territory. That tells me we're not really in a good place. This does not help. Like, this stuff. See this old rustic barn and stuff? Doesn't help at all. Trees. So the trees look pretty green. They look like kind of palm trees. So we must be near the coast. I wouldn't say they're quite palm trees. They're weird. They're like circular. It's like they're palm trees, but they're not kind of sprung up yet, if you know what I mean. Power lines. So they clearly got power. It's not really poor. It's not like Africa. Uh, okay, here we go. So we've got sort of like, I wouldn't say villas, but I would say like, I would say this is rich for the area. Like what I've seen so far, this is really rich. Can we get some roads please? Can we get some like A43s and stuff? Because I don't like, like tiny little roads like this. Oh hey, are you just coming on your motorbike? Wherever you went. Whoa. This, the, what the hell? Has there been a, like a fire or something? What the hell is this? It's like, it's really foggy. Okay, this is cool, just going little bits every time. Okay, we've reached a tiny town. I uh, don't know what that is. It's like some sort of water thing or something. It's so cool, this game. You can see different parts of the world. Yeah, it's sort of like palm trees kind of thing. It's so cool, this, because you can see different parts of the world that you've never seen before. Like a guy on his bike and stuff. Like him. I'm not I'm not being I'm not being rude or anything, but he doesn't look like he's from let's say i f I'm I'm trying to like 
like Asia kind of thing. I'm 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 trying to make it as less rude as possible. What is this? Visa Mastercard. Nice. What the hell? So you just go in there. You. Oh my God. I'd rather go to the co-op. Thank you very much. What is that? There's another guy on his bike. God, they like cycling here. Must be the Netherlands, Kappa. Okay, um, what is this? Okay, speed sign. No car, no cars, I guess. No overtaken, probably, I guess. I think that means no overtaken. Oh my god. Guys, I, I don't, I've just realised I have no clue what this is. I've no idea what. I don't even think I've got the continent yet. That's how bad it is. I've not got the continent yet. The first the first thing you should get is the continent. The second thing is probably, if you can, the area, the northeast, southwest of that continent. The third thing is the country, and then try to predict where you are in that country. That's the four main steps of GeoGuessr kind of thing, but I've not even got the first step yet. Which is find the content, uh, continent. It's either one of two continents, I think. It's either Europe. If it is Europe, I think it'd be Eastern Europe, or it's South America. It might actually be Mexico, though. That's a problem. If we're gonna get low points on any round, I guess it's gonna be this one. Kadudu Pitbull. Pitbull. Is he singing here? Kudu. Uh, Dadu or something. Shin. Can you stop with the, with the big square, please? Oh, see, I don't know. Salio. Does that mean salad? Da celebrate. Dead or something. Fire brigade celebratory or something. What is that? 40 kilometers per hour. At least we know that is kilometers per hour. It's like the first big clue. Pair. I guess that means stop. Or give way, it probably means stop. You never know, I might mean there's pears on sale or something. I don't know. Okay, we seem to be in a big town, well, a village kind of thing. It's not that big. Okay, I don't know where we are, guys. I, can they even afford signs? It's like, I need a sign. What is that? I honestly, I've not got a clue where I am. Um, let me go forward a little bit. It'd be nice if I could actually do that. Wait, what? That was there before now, it's not, lol. Uh, Aqua. Ale Dorizonte. Commun communitario. Programma. I've got the feeling it's like Mexico. Like, near the coast of Mexico. Imagine we got like 20 kilometers away, I would just like jump in my chair. Ma, like, just go insane. It's never happened to me before that in any of these series, but it might happen at some point. It seems it's pretty dense, this area. Mercan Mercandino Ribeiro. Yeah, I've got the, spiel the feeling it's a, a Spanish speaking country. There's so many countries in the world that speak Spanish, it's hard to to, to uh, predict. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just going to have to guess. Because I have not got a scooby-doo where we are. What the hell is that? It's like a red tree. Pear, that means stop again. Oh, we made it to the main highway. Okay, let's quickly find a sign. A main sign. This doesn't happen very often in these kind of areas. Okay, we've got Retorno, one kilometer. Can we get an actual sign that displays everywhere that's coming up and just like tell me how far it is away? Because I need to know which country we're in. First vibes is Mexico, but I'd like to see. Oh, oh, oh. Was that Rodinio or something? Was that Santos de Mont? Santos. There's a, there's a mountain. Oh, nice. When there's mountains, it's good. Because it's always, 
it might be a mountain that you know, like a mountain range, like the Pyrenees, for example. And before it's the Pyrenees. Okay, so we've got this one kilometre place away somewhere. Okay, we've got Retorno one kilometre. Was it not one kilometre like one kilometre ago? What's this? Abedica da Sazandio or something. BR116? BR? Is that Brazil? BR116? Oh, I think we might be onto something here. But guys, I have no idea what 116 is. Honestly, I do not know. 116! <gasps> oh my god! Do not tell me I'm going to find this place. If I find this place, I'm going to be like, jumping in the air. Ben Nova. Oh my god, there's like a mountain range, ain't there? At least we got the country. BR116. Let me quickly go down here. There's a sign down here. Rodavia. I know it's Rodavia. The hell? Oh my god, how far does this go? Santana. Is that where Santa Claus lives? Where, where the hell? Oh no, I don't know. I honestly don't know. How far is Brazil up? Oh my god. It must be north because it's like a mountain range. 116. Okay. Oh, CE1311. Oh, great. Okay, I'm just going to put it here. Because I have no clue. It might be here, actually. Let's just put it there. We're near the coast anyway, so. Oh my god! 85 kilometers away? What is going on today? That's me at like maximum points today, with two of them I've hardly known. What the hell? What the actual hell? Wow, I can't believe I've just got that far away. Jeez, 4,700. We've already got 9,600. I don't know how. Okay, first thought, Scandinavia, straight away. It's either Scandinavia or Canada. First thought, Scandinavia or Canada, okay? I'm leaning more towards Scandinavia. This area is... I don't know. Like, very, very green. So it's definitely got a lot of water, I can tell you that for a fact. Bus stop, cool. Must be my summer car. Okay, we've got a red house. That's where Archie lives in Balamori. I don't know. I don't know, by the way. I don't know where Archie lives. I don't watch Balamori anymore. It's not even on TV anymore, is it? Uh, hello! Welcome to Finland, Sweden, Denmark, or the other place, Canada. Norway, of course. I'm not thinking Norway. If it is Norway, I'm thinking very, very, very far south Norway. Because it would be very icy and snowy if it was north. I tell you what, I bet you it's like, I don't know, Antarctica or something. It probably isn't because Google Maps isn't in Antarctica. Okay. Any of you guys got any thoughts? Very sunny here. I like the sunshine. Okay, what are you thinking from the farms? It kind of looks... Scottish. I don't know why, but I'm getting the feeling of Scotland here. With the hills and stuff. You know what? I might be right with the Scotland idea. Hmm, I don't know if they... They don't look very British, do they? The signs. I'm definitely thinking Sweden. Either Sweden, Norway or Denmark or um, the other one, Finland. So definitely got a big Scandinavian vibe. They look very European. Big Scandinavian vibe. Can't be Canada. It's got like a lock. What the hell? Taurus Placent, yeah, this is definitely Scandinavia. Definitely Scandinavia. I'm about 99% sure it's Scandinavia. Buskard Felk. Was that? Ringerik Commune. I don't know what that means. If somebody want to translate that. Opland Felk Erdl Commune. My very 
crappy Scandinavian knowledge of words. I did think Scotland for a sec because of the, the hills, but the chance of it being in Scotland is low because Scotland's a very small place. Come on, sign seems like it's getting further away as you go closer to it. Is it just me or does that does look like that? Oh, it's low. I was right. It's Norway. It's Norway. Well, I wasn't right. I kind of thought it was more in the way of Sweden, but it might still be Sweden. You never know. E16, I guess that is. It must be. Okay, so we've got narrowed it down to Scandinavia. It's definitely Scandinavia. We know that. So we're thinking Oslo area. I think Oslo is like here somewhere. There's Oslo. Uh, so it did say that Neza Henlo 60 kilometers. So it's quite a big place and we can probably zoom out a bit. Maybe far north. It's E16. Or is it is that the E6? I can't see. It's the E18, sorry. I think. Should we just continue? There's no point continuing because... Hmm. Oslo. Hmm. I've drove these kind of roads in Eurotruck. That's the thing. That's kind of it. That's the reason I kind of know why this is like Scandinavia. Oh my god, is it just me? I just feel like it was getting further away every single time. Look at the land though. I like this kind of green grass kind of thing. 600 meters to that. Cool. Wait, meters? It uses me. Oh yeah, it's a kilometer country, isn't it? I was thinking, does it not use yards? But of course it's not. It's the UK that uses yards because they use miles per hour. Or well, they use a metric. Wait a minute, does UK use, does UK use metric or imperial? The UK uses the imperial system, okay. So this is using the metric system. Come on, why is it so slow? No, I'm not using the keyboard, no way. Okay, I'm just going to go, should I just go for it, should I just guess? At least we've got something in Scandinavia. Val das Porten. Guardsmast. Okay, I'm just going to guess somewhere on the E18. Here. Fourth that Oh my god, that's really good. Fourth as Ah, it was further north. Jeez. Oh, there was Homfoss. If I zoomed out enough, like there maybe, I would have got it. That's good though. 4,500. I can't believe we're on 14,200 after the first game. Okay, straight away we've got Ron's E429 and the N60. And we've got Uden Arde and Petergen. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking Central Europe. Straight away, my thought is Central Europe. The E429. Does Amsterdam use the E429? If I'm right about this, I'm going to like laugh my head off tonight. E429. It kind of feels like it could be Amsterdam, because Amsterdam does use the E as a roads, motorway kind of things. But I was thinking Germany, that's the thing. But obviously Germany doesn't use, like, the E. Poland does. It possibly could be Poland. The E429, you say. E373. I kind of feel like if you go south, you get more... Oh! Here we go. E four seven one, E five. Oh my God, so close! Budapest. Miles in Budapest, my hidden treasure chest. But I need, I need. Where's the road? Honestly, there's like a million E roads here. We're all the way down into Croatia now. Jeez. You know what? It could be anywhere. You know that, right? Could be anywhere. Ah! The ones going east are the kind of ones that are bigger numbers. Right! That makes sense. Okay, let's have another look. So we're definitely thinking Europe. The, the city names didn't give anything away to me yet. Oh, oh, this could be a big help. This is going to be the big help. I can see it. 90 kilometers per hour. 
It could be France. It could be France. Because I know that... Oh, actually, it's Poland. It's got to be Poland. Because Poland uses the um, 40 at 90. I think Poland is the only one in this area that uses 90 for cars. I believe. Euro truck knowledge again. You guys are probably thinking, how the hell does he know that? Well, Euro truck knowledge. Can be Lithuania. Latvia. I don't think it's Latvia. Oh my god, we've like searched every European country. Oh, you know what? I've not checked. I've not checked Norway or anything. There's a very high chance it could be Norway. But I think they use different things. E. They use the E again, but I don't think they use the big number E. I don't believe. So it could be anywhere, really. Kortrijk. Oh, wait a minute. Could it possibly be Iceland? Could it possibly be Iceland? I don't think it can be. It's only like one road in Iceland. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Alast, Brackel and Rons. I have no idea. We've been lucky so far. The signs look very British, personally. They look very, very British. Don't you dare. Thank you. Okay, we've got a big sign here. See, Odenarde. That does not help. Ghent. I'm just going to put it in Poland. We're running out of time here, so we're going to put it on Poland. Uh, I think we've got one more, actually, yeah. Let's put it on the E... 67. Not bad. It was Belgium. If we just looked in Belgium. We looked in everywhere apart from Belgium. Right, what we done was we went to Netherlands. went across to Germany down here, this area. Came back across here to France. And maybe down to Spain a little bit. And we never looked at the one in between. Stupid game. Okay, next one. Is. Oh, God. My favourite one to finish off. The 440p quality. I can't even read what this says. It's that bad. Can you not upgrade from like 2005 Google Maps, please? Because this is absolutely horrendous quality. This is probably the worst quality in any GeoGuessr game. Oh, hello. Meh. Still worse. I was going to say, it's the worst quality in any GeoGuessr game I've ever played. But I almost changed it there. I kind of felt like it was going to change it. Even a flag or something would help. Like, just a flag to indicate what it's not. Like, an American flag or something, just to indicate it's in the States. Because right now, I have no clue where it is. I'm guessing the States. I'm guessing some, like, New Mexico, maybe. But I don't know. Doesn't look very familiar. Nope, this does not look anything like what I expected this place to look like. I expected the last one to look like. It can't be Scandinavia, because I think they've got all upgraded cameras in Scandinavia. Like, maybe some US states have not upgraded. Okay, it's definitely America. You know it's America when you see these kind of signs. Stop signs and stuff. Those street sign kind of things. Green signs. Can we go that way, please? Thank you. Route 27. Route 27. Okay. Okay. South Route 27. So are we heading south, I guess? Okay, so we kind of narrowed it down to Route 27. If we can just find out where Route 27 is, that would be a perfect ending. To pretty much a perfect score. Route 27. I kind of feel like as you go further along, it goes down. Okay, that's interesting. Route 25. Route 27. Oh my god. Is this the way to Amarillo? No, no, let's not do that. Okay, so you know what? Route 27 is that small. Look at that. Look at the size of Route 27, guys. Look at the size of Route 27. We have one. We have one. 
Are you ready? Let's go to Amarillo. Is this the way to Am? What? What? It was here. Are you kidding me? That's where Route 27. Oh, it was the white background. Ah, right. Ah, right. Yeah. So we done pretty good. 19,146. That was tricky. Those last two, like this one here, that was all right. This one here was perfect. This one here was bad. This one here was ab the best, probably. And where was the other one? The other one was, uh, where was the other one? There's, I can only see four. Where was that? Oh, yeah, down here. That was pretty good as well. So, yeah, that was fun. You know what? To end today, because we've been here. Let's do it. For the lols. Let's do it. Obviously, I'm going to get copyright. Yep. Get rid of that. Go. Okay, we're done. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of... Uh, we're going to head to Amarillo soon. It never helped us very soon. I wonder if that's actually the place that Amar is this the way to Amarillo is based on. I doubt it, because it's about the size of, uh, I don't know, the size of, like, Doncaster or something, if you know where Doncaster is. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of uh, GeoGuessr. I've not actually written in the score yet, actually. So that was 19,146. Oh, yowzers. Let's put a comma there. Wow. We're saving it. Where are we saving it? Ah, uh, we're going to save it as a GeoGuessr world. Uh, create it in documents. Go. Save. Done. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the episode of GeoGuessr. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, keep up to date with all the videos with my channel, please subscribe. Next week, we'll be doing the UK map. See you then.